Hey guys, Kara Sifty here with a multi review. This time I'll be reviewing the Guardian Weapon, Rolling Hammer, and Snail Gatling, along with the action hero Okuagata Ojer and Spired Kumonos from Osama Sentai King Ojer. Here we have the first two of the Demi Shu Gods, who can become weapons for King Ojer, as well as two of the more recent action hero figures. The reason why I'm reviewing all these together is for a practical reason in that I felt that with these individually or even paired up in twos I didn't think there was enough to them to really warrant their own videos as I feel like they'd be a little bit too short and I try to have my videos be at least a decent length so I decided to kind of group them all together. With that being said, let's get started. Up first we have the rolling hammer that starts as the guardian rolling. This is a dark blue Pillbug or Roly Poly, which probably has a name with rolling somewhere in it in Japan or, you know, in other parts of the world, just because the names of these Shugods are taken from, you know, what they are referred to. But this is a bug that goes by many names. You can see close, it's got a lot of nice details. And little feelers at the front. Got a mix of dark blue as well as purple and silver accents. And it does have some asymmetry to it, to where we have these mechanical pieces on this side at the front, and then this side at the back. And like with a pill bug, it does fold up like that. Though unfortunately because of the design, it doesn't really roll at all. Contrary to its name. So to convert it into the rolling hammer, first you have on the bottom these two orange panels. This one opens up to reveal a little chain part. We'll close it up, fold this back in, and fold in the feelers. And you take this little clip and plug it onto the back right here. And this creates the rolling hammer, a ball and chain. So this can be equipped to King Ocher, simply by taking the handle and then placing it into the hand. And normally you do have the rolling hammer just kind of laying on the ground, but thanks to the articulation you can pose it in such a way to where it has it perhaps draping over one arm or held up in one way or another. And this is an actual metal chain, so it is quite strong and will hold quite well. You can even you know balance it in other ways. So there are some things you can do with it. It just is really about the thing we can do as far as placing this and making use of King Ogre's articulation. Second, we have the Snail Gatling, which starts as the Guardian Snail. So here we have an orange and dark blue snail, kind of an inversion of the colors of Guardian Rolling. You can see the little neck here with the uh, eye socks at the top, and you see the snail here or the shell right here, which is actually a kind of gun drum barrel. Got the wheels here. You can see more details all around. Has a little gimmick where, thanks to a wheel that's connected to some gears here, you place it down, and roll it around. It will actually move the shell or gun barrel on its back. So I'm going to run it into the snail gallon, it's pretty simple, you just straighten out the head, then turn the barrel so it's facing this way, and there you have it complete. Then to equip the King Oger, and take off one of the God Tentos, set it aside, and then place it on the arm instead. Now it's equipped with a Gatling gun. Which 
can pose in position, thanks to the articulation. And because King Odor does have two arms and two hands, you can equip it with both of these two guarding weapons. And just like that, it's fully armed. Third, we have O Kuagata Ojer. Now this is not a form change of Kuagata Ojer, rather it's a separate ranger who is the king of Kuagata Ojer's kingdom. And it is technically based on a giant stag beetle. So it is, in all essence, a recolor of Kuagata Ojer. That changes out the red for kind of gray or gunmetal. So we can still see all of the same details, but with some different coloring. It does still include the same symbol, same crest right there. It does have the same articulation as the other, appears in the line. And the big difference here is that includes the Odor Caliber Zero, a sort of proto version of the Odor Caliber that's gold and silver, silver instead of silver, and only has the singular horn in the middle, rather than any of the other transformation switches. Which can of course be easily equipped in one hand. Fourth, and finally, we have Spider Kumonos. So for him, his design does very little bit compared to the other King Ogres, being the Sixth Ranger and all. Starting with the face, you can see a pretty interesting design for it, which does, of course, look like a big spider that's wrapped around. It does have eight legs. What is interesting to me is how it has, you know, the kind of two front legs that form this kind of hoop around, or ring around the forehead. Very pretty interesting. This is definitely a pretty interesting uh, helmet design. Then for the chest, we get some nice gold. It's got this kind of gold chest armor that, again, wraps around the body, similar to a spider, with his symbol in the middle. Though he does kind of share a similar design on the arms and legs to the other King Elders. But, have a bit of a kind of chain-like design for the cuffs of the gloves and boots. Also does have some paint on the side that goes down the torso and legs. And unlike the others, which have a shoulder cape, he has a mantle on his back, which is you know, has a little bit of a torn-up look to it. So definitely a cool design. Now he comes with two accessories, the first one being the Kumono Slayer, which is designed to look like it has a Kumono key inserted into it. So that can go into one hand. As well as the Venom Extruder, which does have a pretty generic look to it and doesn't really have a lot of the details. But you can still tell what weapon it is just by looking at it. And there we go. So, overall thoughts. As far as the two guarding weapons go, early on when I got these, I really would have said that they're an easy pass. They don't do all that much on their own, and even though they do transform into weapons for King Ogier, even then, they still don't really do much as 
And certainly in the case of the rolling hammer, you have to kind of get creative in order to pose it in any kind of way that looks good because it has a chain instead of any kind of like a wire that you used to have it like be flailed in midair. And, you know, if you want, you could maybe get some kind of other stands or stuff or just like some kind of display to hold up, but that would cost extra money. And, you know, the snail gatling is nice. It does have, you know, a free rolling barrel or that rolling eggs, but it's just not all that special. However, I would now actually recommend them a little bit more because they're technically part of the big final combination for King Ojo, at least the biggest one that's been revealed so far, which I feel is likely the final combination, which we'll see in a future review. But, you know, as far as they go, if you're going for all of them, I definitely recommend them. If you're able to pass on some, they're definitely some you could pass. As for the action hero figures, have the same level of quality as with the other ones, have some good accessories. So if you're looking for some nice simple figures of these rangers, I definitely recommend picking them up. Next time we'll be getting to our next major mech when I review the Tarantula Knight Chite Guardian Weapon Set. So thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Kara Sifty, riding off.